Small Radio's Big Televisions, a some kind of puzzle type game thing from Adult Swim games of all people. All right, cool. Uh, so I was probably going to pick this one next last time because uh, I've been looking forward to playing it for a while because I'm just looking at this game like, what the hell am I looking at? What is this thing? I want to know what it is. And, uh, but I think I think I was on I think I was driving home last time, and I just listened to a podcast that just just tipped the scales of my interest over towards Rusty Lake that particular day, and so we got a month of uh, Cube Escape and Rusty Lake. But now, finally, let's get to this game that's been on my to do list for probably four plus months or something ridiculous like that. I got a key for it from the uh, publisher way back when it first came out, and. I actually feel bad about how long it's been. Let's see. you already? Oh, I'm controlling the camera angle, aren't I? So aiming up, aiming up, taking the mouse to the top of the screen makes us get this under angle, taking it to the bottom gives us over angle. Let's see, try WASD, arrow keys, no, let's try clicking then. Ah! Oh, are you a level select screen? Okay. This is interesting to go into blind, because I'm like, I don't know... I don't even know where to start yet. Okay. It almost feels like some sort of weird Blendo Games project. Hello there. We have two doors here. I wonder if this is like a... a multi-stage, like, level select screen still? Huh. Let's try the first door. Ooh. Oh. I see. <laughs> I think we're setting up the framework of the structure. So I can go to tapes, and if I go to a tape, I get up I end up in a different location. And there's these green gems apparently. Let's try hitting spacebar just for the sake of it. So I can revisit forest whenever I want. The question is, is there anything else to do there besides the shifting music? But yeah, this is an enjoyable game to listen to so far. Whoa, what's up with that? That's weird. The back... Is that just the prompt? Maybe. It's interesting how the black... the background's all blurry and this little specific spot is so strange looking. But I think that's just tell, remind, reminding me I can leave. Okay. One minor thing for my own sanity. Probably won't affect you guys because of audio, audio processing afterwards, but it's a little loud on my end. There we go. That'll help me out a little bit. What, did, what do you mean, by the way? Oh. Oh, are you an inventory item? I can interact with you. The environment even glows. Okay. Oh, well that... ...probably explains that. Cool. I'm assuming we're still- I'm, I'm assuming this functions as a tutorial, basically. We're gonna rotate this thing. Take some- you have to really give it some oomph to rotate it correctly, too. Seems like I can only rotate that much. Is that the door I was in before? Yeah. And we even have a map, apparently. Oh, hello. Everything about the presentation of this game is really nice to look at. I do wish that I could rotate with the... Uh, Keyboard instead of dra uh, mouse drag, though, but maybe they'll use that for something else. Work, says the wall. I say nay. 
But we are here to play. Hello. Road. Oh. So is, now, is the concern now that we can be moving? Ah. So maybe now I have to worry about whether or not we're moving in the memory itself. Just because they give me the option, I want to look at it again. It seems to get kicked out the moment you get the... The moment you get the gem. What if this place serves another purpose, though? I can point the camera wherever I want. Definitely a heavy amount of blurring going on. The whole game has a, like, a tilt-shift feel to a lot of it. Seems it might just keep going. So the tapes seem to give you, like, vistas to take a look around. What's up with that up top? There are these zigzag lines that seem to be part of the corporate design of the building we're in. Then somebody seems to have sketched construction stuff on top of it, including even a, a sunset. Okay, hello. What's happening here? We have five vents that are all along the top of this, this light fixture here. There's two lights pointing in an X. Not really an X, just kind of pointing near each other, but there's an X drawn on the background. Vents have diff very differing reactions to the lighting here. Can I actually interact with it, though? Or is it just a room? Is it just a room? You would think that for sure you'd do something in here. It looks so noteworthy. Bye bye Interesting how I can seem to only drag this direction. Oh, hey. That almost seemed like a secret. Oh, I came out of that earlier. Well, now I feel silly. It seems like we're try- I guess what's happening here is we're progressing in this clockwise direction around the building, but I can drag backwards to go back to where we started, basically. Seems to be what's going on. Oh, that opens. How many of those have been openable until now? Optics. You do. Does watch your back? Well, that's interesting. Have I been missing stuff like that? I feel like I tried clicking on vents before. Interesting. Oh, zero one zero. Okay, that's the clue. I'm going to set you up as being one zero, and then I need to turn this one off afterwards because when this is off, I can't access this. So this is our first puzzle, actually. There we go. At first, it's definitely very straightforward of just understanding what zeros and ones mean, but it's still a puzzle. I assume we'll iterate from here. Hello. Says coast. This game is beautiful for how simple the general visuals are. Though something has changed. Because this time around, there is no obvious green crystal. Oh. I can drag the trees. Even the ones up there. What a weird detail. <laughs> is it hiding behind the trees then? Is that what we're getting at? Interesting. about the clouds themselves. Any interaction there? I think it's just the trees. 
like a vibration to the entire screen, like we're watching, could we, to simulate that we're watching on, on tape, even though that's not how tapes work. It's almost like a, a warped VHS effect. I guess, I assume that the implication is that we're listening to these different songs and it's transporting us to different locations as a result. Like memories? It's like when you're listening to different songs on the radio, and the, uh, or on your, not, not the radio, but on your personal, like, mixtape or records you own, and then as a result, you, uh, you find yourself transported back to the previous place where you previously listened to that song, and you remember last, you remember exactly what you were doing and where you were last time you heard that particular song and how weirdly you can associate those kinds of memories. So we have this thing, which requires me to find a gem, which I don't have, because I assume you don't do that. Ooh. Was- were you on the bottom of the screen earlier? That's something we should check. Was that lens on the bottom of the screen during the coast memory, and can I use that to affect how I interact with the memory? No, the answer- the answer's no. Never mind. That was my hypothesis, and it has failed me. Probably not for the last time. We're not going down there, it's very small. These look like poker chips. Um... Okay... First of all, the door has the picture of a gem on it. The one I came through. Did we just do something that's gonna lead to me getting...? Let's see. It appeared that two of these tapes... I at least saw two of them in there. They seem to have been affected by the magnets. That's supposed to be bad for tapes, isn't it? Yep. My tapes are different. Oh, my tapes are different. Hello there. You're the one we needed. Well, that's a trip. That is a trip. So we're definitely getting some adventure game logic and some puzzles going on, so yeah. It's more or less what I was hoping for. Did not know what to expect. Hello. So the songs themselves even change as the locations do. Did road change at all? I only saw two tapes fly over, but I could have been wrong. Might have warped all of them. Hello. I could just hang out on these things for a while if I wanted to. The whole sky is covered in the same polygon as the gems, I think. I think there's still clouds, though. Oh, I could hang out in some of those locations for a while and just stare at them for a bit. That's neat. Okay, well, we know what to do with you. Haven't figured out you yet, little lens thing, but we'll keep you in mind. Now I'm gonna be paranoid about every vent I may or may not have clicked on so far, obviously. Square! Oh, hello. We seem to have gained a bridge. Are you a telescope? I have a lens, somewhere. Do we have a light? Aha! Well, it's a good thing I found you. What were they built for, anyway? They never actually told me, often is my guess, to give people a sense of things could get better, that somehow everything could be normal again one day. I guess they didn't convince you. It was empty. There wasn't a person in sight. Whatever they were trying to do, they gave up fast. So they were, what, trying to 
air, the corruption, supposedly filter the air, the water, anything they could do to keep the population from plummeting. There's a distortion going on here where text is gone. They were talking about an, an apocalypse thing again? The worst part is I think the people working there believed it was possible. I mean, why else would you spend your life in a place like that? Maybe they just wanted to find purpose, to feel like they were contributing. Watch us find out this is part of like the Talos Principle Extended Universe. <laughs> I just think they found something that was more compelling. I might choose to just assume this is part of the Talos Principle Extended Universe. <laughs> Similar themes going on here. I don't think I can do anything here, actually, though. It's just a screen with a, with a dialogue and this little lens thing. Maybe finding the lens was an optional thing I could do to unlock the dialogue. So maybe there's, no, maybe there's an optional collectible in every level that leads to additional story, and maybe you missed out on it otherwise. Only one way to find out. Look at those flashing bits. You're losing your mind up there? What's, what's up here? Calm down. Calm down. This is not it's a bad time for disco. Look at that windsock up there. Gargantuan gears, nonsensically large gears. And I believe a perspective that makes no sense, I'm pretty sure. Maybe the perspective does make sense. Yeah, I can't see the I can't see the flat surface below and above the uh, building at the same time. It might be an exaggerated perspective, though, because it feels like the angle's somehow off, despite that. Curious. I wonder what's going on with the rendering of this game. What kind of, what kind of tricks might be going on in here? Door number one. Next to the distracting, shiny, freak-out thing. My lens is gone. I liked my lens. Calm down, lens thing. I was joking. I mean, no, I, you're, not, you're not what I meant when I said lens earlier. Rewind, unwind. Interesting, I can turn that off, and the door, we can still move? Doesn't actually turn the door off, necessarily. Is this a giant tape or something? What's the screen gonna be? There's two doors upstairs, one in there. Let's go back. Might as well see what happens if I turn you on and off. Oh! Get a visualizer. So I can turn it off from the other room, though I don't have much reason to want to necessarily. Definitely looks like a music visualizer of some kind. But maybe it has some sort of impact on the building as a whole. Hello! Well, this is where we go to ruin my decks, apparently. When I actually have them. Wait, you don't call it... You don't call the tapes decks. You have a tape deck. Not... Never mind. Can you tell that I never grew up with cassettes? <laughs> Okay, we have a lot of forking paths to keep track of here. I gotta be careful. Ah. Uh. I don't think gears are supposed to do that. They're- oh. Working on it. <laughs> oh my god, it was- It was so strangely violent in the moment. I'm just trying to beat it into place so it would work correctly. There we go. That's oddly satisfying. I'm gonna fix you up, entire thing. Do I need to attach you to that now? No. Maybe I move you over here now that you're out, and then you. Well, you need to calm down, swingy gear. Thing fights me. No, not you. No, not. Holy crap. How do I control you to do what I want? It's not working. The try there. Holy crap, it's so weirdly violent with its movement. At first I thought that was un intentional, but now it seems kind of unintentional. Oh god. Uh, no. Go that way. Go up there. No. 
How does... How do I make you go in the right spot? Ah, oh, Jesus. It goes so fast. Why does it go so fast? Come on. There. Yes. No. Yes. There we go. No. There must be a mechanic here. There must be like some sort of thing that governs how it moves, but I'm not sure if I can see it. Is the is the problem that the background thing's moving? Does it chase after the direction you're pointing in, perhaps? There we go. Oh. Maybe... Maybe it'll just always... Maybe it's always gonna just follow gravity, but if I just kind of hold in the right direction, it goes for a bit. Got ourselves a tape. One way or another. Field. Hi. You guys don't have any talking corn problems around here, do you? What a chill game. Alright, next up. I think that's it for this room. Oh, we're back here. So that's where that door lo loops around to. Let's go back through here then, because I think there was an upstairs door. Gotta be careful about this. How helpful is the map for that purpose? Um... I suppose we'll see. Oh yeah, you can see like an empty spot over there indicating that I haven't gone somewhere over there. That'll help me figure something out, hopefully. Let's warp that tape. I'm sorry, Field. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. But I need it. Maybe. Presumably. Um, oh my god, the field. Uh. It looks like that time I played Diablo 1 and all the colors were reversed because it wasn't, they didn't have the right drivers or something. I don't know, because I was playing on a newer computer. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, sorry. Nothing seems to be hidden in field yet, but we'll see. Could be missing something. Do you open? Nope. Gonna be paranoid about those for the rest of the game now that now that one of them had a secret in it that was kind of important. Looks like a tape or a conveyor. Not a conveyor, a, a track. No, what do you call it? A bully? Even that's not accurate. Thinking of all the wrong words. Hello. That was the other door? Oh, weird. Huh. Interesting. There's nothing else to try interacting with, or was that kind of just it? You're still waiting for me to get the crystal, so that's the big loose end we have right now. Ah. Oh, right, I can probably move these gears around. That's important. <sighs> Let's see what we can do. Okay, so... I just move you over. So this thing's toggled off. The fact that it's toggled off seems to indicate... Like, I think I think this being green or red is going to affect whether or not that thing's rotating. I can move this thing around, but it's not going to matter if it's not turning. And it's not turning because that one's off. The fact that it's by this door makes me think that maybe it's behind that door. Whatever I need. Or it could be that I need... Or it could be that it rotating this... Ah, uh, that's a better idea. It could be that it ro... It could be that this isn't... I was thinking this this light indicated this thing would move or not. 
it's actually probably more likely that I need to make this thing move to make this go green. And that's the actual result. It's the other way around. And then when that's green, that door will open. Let's try toggling off the thing in the other room. And see if that causes the change. Yep. Nope, there's a tape up here. It's called Arboretum. Oh no, we're gonna go back to prey. Actually, that's not a really bad thing. Whoa, full 360? so serene. <laughs> that open though? No. Arnie wants to talk- I just want to knock over the giant pile of, uh, of boxes. Okay, so my best guess at this point would be that if I can distort that tape, that might be where we get the crystal we need. Did I just double- did I just double distort that tape? Let's try field again. Did it just get worse? I noticed that two of them went in, but that it might be just a general animation. No, you, you still seem familiar. It'd probably be a bit, a bit much if they required you to, to distort the same tape over and over again like that, so it's probably for the best. Operatum then. Ah, there's the gem, obviously. But not only is the whole place shredded and, and gone and mostly just silhouettes, but now I'm also significantly further away from the tree in the camera angle, and now I'm behind these sweeping trees that, that block our vision as we go. 